Hi, this is Lisa Nelson from eNutrition. I help you find natural ways to lower cholesterol, control high blood pressure, and lose weight. A recent study published this past September compared the benefits of flax oil versus fish oil in raising blood levels of heart-healthy omega-3s. Flax oil contains the omega-3 fatty acid, ALA, which stands for alpha-linolenic acid, while fish oil contains EPA, or eicosapentaenoic acid, and DHA, also known as docosahexaenoic acid. The benefits of ALA continue, continue to be studied, but EPA and DHA have been positively linked to heart benefits. The body can convert ALA to EPA and DHA, but it's been well known that this conversion process is not efficient. According to a recent study published in Nutrition Reviews, 8 to 20 percent of ALA is converted into EPA. From this, only 0.5 to 9 percent is converted to DHA. To test the benefits of ALA supplements, such as flax oil, in amounts commonly consumed, the study followed 62 firefighters. The 62 participants were divided into six groups and monitored for 12 weeks. The groups included 1.2 grams of flax oil per day, a second group taking 2.4 grams per day, and a third group taking 3.4 grams of flax oil each day. A fourth group took 0.6 grams of fish oil daily, and a fifth took 1.2 grams of fish oil per day, while a sixth group was given a sunflower placebo. Results showed an increase in EPA and DHA in the blood for those taking both levels of fish oil, 0.6 and 1.2 grams. The EPA levels in red blood cells almost doubled by the study's end. Now, the flax oil supplements did not have the same result. Those receiving 1.2 grams of flax oil daily did not show a significant rise in EPA and DHA, only ALA. The 2.4 and 3.6 gram flax oil supplements increased ALA, EPA, and DHA levels. EPA increased 30% with a 2.4 gram supplement, and 40% with a 3.6 gram supplement. However, there was no corresponding increase in DHA. This confirmed the original belief that conversion of ALA into DHA is minimal. The results of this study support my recommendations related to omega-3 supplements. First, consume a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Second, choose a supplement with 850 milligrams of DHA and EPA per gram of fish oil. Third, if you do not tolerate fish oil, select a flax oil supplement providing at least one gram of omega-3 fatty acids daily. I'd love to have you sign up for the Heart of Health easing, where you'll receive regular heart health and weight loss tips. You'll also receive the free report, Stop Wasting Money, Take Control of Your Health, or the free e-course, 80 Essential Steps to Lower Cholesterol. Visit www.enutritionservices.com to learn more. Thanks for listening. This is Lisa Nelson, your online nutrition coach.